Yo, what is going on, you stitching snubble? So, unfortunately, a lot of the Pokemon, the major Pokemon TCG events have been getting canceled. One that wasn't was Perth Regionals, and over the weekend, Henry Brand managed to win the whole thing with his crazy Mewtwo box deck. Now, I played a little bit with this on stream, twitch.tv slash azulgg, um, and it was a ton of fun. The deck, I feel like, is, there's a lot going on in it. There's a lot to remember what you have access to. Um, some of your matchups are a little bit more straightforward than others, um, but the main point of the deck is we use the Soul Burst GX attack from Solgaleo GX, and we put five energy cards, and we attach them to our Pokemon in any way, our, any way we like, and we can take any energy cards. So we're going to get a bunch of Auroras and Rainbows in play, and then we have access to a bunch of different attacks for a bunch of different situations, and it's just a pretty crazy deck. It's a super cool deck. It's a ton of fun to play. Uh, super excited to be showcasing it for you guys here today, so let's just go ahead uh, and uh, let's get into some games. All right, getting into our first one here. We are going to be going first as we win the coin flip. Um, opened the Xerneas, which isn't terrible. The rest of the hand, obviously not great. Yeah, Xerneas, yeah, we got the air balloon for the Xerneas, so we got some mobility for it. Um, see what our opponent's playing here in just a second. It is most likely ADP. All right, that is fine. Uh, we need to get a Mewtwo, though. We need to try and attach to a Mewtwo as soon as possible. We can GX attack with ADP, and then, okay, this will do for now. Gonna grab ourselves the Mewtwo. Need to find the ADP in two turns though. So we're gonna put him down, attach the Aurora, discard the Soul Galio. We could just go into the strategy of using Soul Burst next turn if we don't find ADP to GX attack with, which is also fine because then we can get access to the Xerneas attacking through that. And then we just need to come up with three more prize cards off of that. Ideally, we want to GX attack with ADP. Uh, and then <clears throat> after we GX attack with ADP, we can use Xerneas, attach our third energy for turn, knock out the ADP, draw four prize cards, and then use the Raticate, uh, this guy right here, to knock out like a Jirachi or something with Snivy Sword. Um, it's not looking like it's going to go that way this game. We're probably just going to have to go with the Soul Burst, and then we'll get the knockout on this guy with uh, Xerneas, which is fine, I think, for the situation. And then we can also set up the Reshizard, actually. And then if they don't have the Pants, then we can one-shot Zations with Reshizard. So, yeah, I think we'll be fine overall. Yeah, I think it'll be a fine situation. We'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. They definitely might be able to overrun us really fast. Hopefully that doesn't happen. Um, yeah, we'll definitely be able to get the Xerneas up and going and get the knockout on the ADP. And then it's just going to come around. Can they knock out our our Pokemon? Whatever it has left has energy on the bench. Can they just knock that out? Because if they can just knock that out, then we're definitely going to be in trouble. And that's where it can get uh, a little bit scary. If we find a big charm, we find a replacement stadium, that we will definitely be okay. That's also another big thing. If we can find our, our shrine. Okay, there is a great catcher on our Dedenne trying to slow us down. Um, so it definitely looks like it's going to be Rainbow Energy, Attach Retreat, and then Soul Burst, Hope for the Best. Um, yeah, then we're looking for that Xerneas knockout into the ADP, and then somehow get Mewtwo getting a knockout on um, a Zacian after that. All right, here comes the Shrine damage. Let's see what our top deck is. It's a Zigzagoon. That's not going to do anything for us right now. So it is going to be the Retreat. I will watch over to heal the Mewtwo. This is relevant to keep healed. Um, and then we're going with that Soul Burst GX attack. We're gonna get uh, all the rainbows, this, and I guess a weakness card. We prized quite a few energy. Actually, I think we prized, what, three Aurora? Yeah, three Aurora energy prized. Oh no, this is just not gonna be our game, I don't think. Um, energy here. I think we're just gonna put it all on the Mewtwo for now. Um, and then we'll see where it goes from there because we're not really scared yet. Yeah, we can just retreat um, or we can just use the Mewtwo to take a knockout. Yeah, I think we're going to put it all on the Mewtwo here. We just need to find the big charm for the Mewtwo action. I think we'll be in a good spot. If we can just find the big charm to keep our Mewtwo alive for a little bit longer against our opponent's deck, I think we'll be in a good spot here. Here comes the energy spinner. Should be a water energy. All right, put it onto the ADP. So now we can hard retreat to the Xerneas. I'd much rather switch if we can get that option. Um, and then hit them with the Bright Horns. Yeah, here comes their switch. Here comes the GX deck. There's a Marnie. Okay, that is perfect for us. That's going to reset our hand. We're going to see some new cards and have a lot of new stuff to work with. There's the Guzman Hala. That can get us the big charm to protect our Mewtwo. Um, I don't want to lose this energy, though. I might still go with the Swell, Heal, and then just research. Find a switch. If I top deck switch, that would be the ideal top deck. Um, then I can Guzman Hollow away both Swells. Hopefully our last Swell is in the deck. Um, although, if they're playing Shrine, they might not have another modifier, so simply putting the Swell here might be enough to stop a Zacian one-shotting our Mewtwo. Uh, we might not even need the Big Charm to stop a Zacian one-shotting our Mewtwo, because if they play the Shrine, they might not play Zigzagoon or Vitality Band. Um, a lot of builds just haven't been playing those recently. 
This looks very similar to like a Tord build, uh, which means they might just not have it, which means a Mewtwo would just be alive. And sticking around, there's the big charm anyways though. Let's just get everything then. Top deck the big charm, heal it up with the Ndidi, Chaotic Swell, and we're looking for uh, that switch. We're looking for that switch. There's the switch, all right. This is looking great. Switch into the Xerneas. Uh, we're gonna take three rainbow energy off of our Mewtwo. Yeah. And then we're gonna go ahead and Bright Horns, I think. I don't think we need to do anything else. This hand is fine, just leave it as it is. Uh, Bright Horns, knock out our opponent's ADP. We're gonna draw three prize cards. We need to get three more prize cards. There's three Aurora energy in here, so hopefully we see one of those. The Snivy Sword could be good for later on. That's a quick ball. Oh my gosh, unless I miscounted. No, there's one more Aurora in our discard box. So there's two Aurora in our last three prize cards, but this means we actually can't use anything like Flare Strike um, or even something like the Desert Hurricane to take knockouts on Zacian. So we just can't actually KO Zacians here. We're gonna have to get creative here. I think it's gonna involve the Snivysaur. We're gonna try and Snivysaur knock, knock out something off the bench, um, like the Orangaroo or the Jirachi. Try and get one of those out of the prize cards and then knock out a Zacian. We can't even use the Snivysaur though, actually, because we don't have, there's a Dene though. We can use our Great Catcher now. Bring up the Dene, knock it out. Do we have an attack? We can use Vileplume. We can use Massive Bloom, knock out a Vi uh, knock out the Dene, try and get one of those energies, and then use Snivy Sword to bring up one of these two guys to knock them out to close out the game. Or maybe the Blastoise? I don't think we can actually set up to get to the Blastoise. All right. Oh, we do have this guy. This guy we can use. We can use that Sunseal Strike, actually. Oh, no, we can't, because we have a unit here and a rainbow up here. Oh, man. This has just been a very awkward game for energy. Very, very awkward game for energy. All right, yeah, we discarded quite a few early on. Yeah, it's just been an awkward game for energy. There's no other way to put it. See if we can't recover from it, though. There's another ADP to our opponent's hand. If they're knocking out the Xerneas, we have a decent amount of time to work with as well, though. We'll have time to work with. We're gonna look for that Great Catcher to knock out on the Dedene, and then we can look for the Snivy Sword play to knock out an Orangaroo or a Jirachi to close out the game. I think that's gonna be the way this game breaks down for us. I'm not seeing anything else. We can Ultimate Ray. Um, that's only doing 50. We don't have any way to really make it super awkward for our opponent. I think that has to be our game plan here. Knock out Dene, and then find a way to knock out Nisation. Or an Orangu, or, or knock out anything. Knock out the Dene. We're looking for a Great Catcher. Great Catcher is our our go-to um, way to victory here. And I'm sure our opponent is looking for double custom here to knock out uh, Dene and then knock out the Ndidi with another double custom and not even have to ever go through any of this. There is a Marnie. That's gonna dig us deeper into our deck, so actually I'm kind of fine with this. As long as we find a way to get to Dene or Research uh, in this hand. Five new cards, all right, we found a way to get to Dene. No way to get the Research. Here comes the Brave Blade to knock out our Xerneas. And now we're looking, once again, looking for that Great Catcher, looking to knock out to Dene. We need to find the, um, find the Vile Bloom, which we can get with the Cherish Ball. We're kind of in a tough spot here, though. We're definitely in a tough spot. We also have the Psychic. Yeah, it's not gonna do enough. All right, so yeah, send up YouTube. Start with the Cherish, I'll start with the Tag Call, actually. Tag Call. Discard this guy. Discard this guy, Outrage might be something we can utilize if they just punch into our Mewtwo, which is definitely something they possibly do. And if we had more energy, we would be in a really good spot. The Outrage is actually super, super strong in this in this matchup because their only thing they really hit us is Zacians. So then we can just respond with Outrage. The Dene's there. The Great Catcher is in the deck. Um, I don't think there's really much else to do. We just got to take these two guys. We're going to thin them out of the deck here. Uh, Cherish Ball. Grab the Vile Plume, which is our current just best attacker to try and knock out that Dene. Get rid of the Vile Plume. Grab the Dene. Going to Dede change here. Uh, if we don't find the Great Catcher off this Dede change, hopefully we find the Great Catcher and then we can, or a research and then can use the Great Catcher. All right. Uh, tag Call again. Then both of these guys out of the deck. Well, I don't really want to put that guy in play. We'll get the Mewtwo out of the deck. Get rid of this, because if I put the other thing in play, they could possibly win the game. Well, I don't think they could win the game anymore, because I think they're out of shrines. Both their shrines are in the discard pile. Usually only play two, but we're just gonna grab the wall. We'll leave the Snivy Sword out of this for right now. Leave the bench base open. Because you never know when you're gonna need it. Alright, take the wob. Here we go, research, seven of uh, 15, we whiffed the great catcher. Hmm, 
I don't know where that leaves us. It doesn't leave us in a seemingly very good spot, though, I can tell you that much. Um, oh, man. All right. Um, I don't even know what I would want to possibly use as an attack this turn. We could use the Massive Bloom. That seems to be what can hit the hardest here. We could use Ultimate Ray, but that's just less. We could use the Chuck Away to discard stuff out of our hand. We don't really need to discard stuff out of our hand. Um, yeah, just kind of an unfortunate situation, it looks like. I guess this would hit the hardest with the Psychic. We could maybe get something going with that. Um, uh, we could actually discard all energy from this Pokemon. So we could go... No, that wouldn't quite be enough. All right, let's go with the Massive Bloom. Yeah, this one's looking tough now. We're looking like we're in a pretty bad spot. That would hit for 230, uh, minus the Frying Pan would be 200. Then Zigzagoon wouldn't be quite enough to ping it out it was close but not quite enough um yeah we really just needed that great catcher there if we hit the great catcher i think we we're in a good spot with the great catcher i'm trying to come up with some other something else we could have possibly done but i can't quite come up with anything um couldn't even have used the force dump looking here we had chuck away rocket splash wasn't gonna do anything couldn't use desert hurricane um no stadium in play we didn't have the energy to use it anyways um, that would have been something that would, would have been really nice to utilize right here would have been the Desert Hurricane. Um, yeah, I, don't, just, I just don't think we had outs there, and it's looking pretty rough now. They're going to hit us with the Zacian, and I don't see where we go from here. They're going to hit us with Zacian for a lot of damage. We can knock it out in response, but then we still have three prize cards left. Um, I think it's just an unfortunate game. Discarded a lot of energy early on. We had an Aurora, I think Aurora unit and a Rainbow in the discard pile before we even used our Mewtwo. Um, yeah, we weren't quite able to recover from there. Once again, looking at it, I'm looking for options. There's so many things to possibly do in this deck. I'm looking for, was there an out? Did I miss something? I don't think so. We could have got this guy in the pot, in the discard pile. Use Miss Slash. That doesn't seem very good. Because it couldn't use the Forest Dump anyways. Sunsteel Strike was only doing 200. There's a double custom on our bench, dude. That makes me think they have the other double custom in their hand. Yeah, ideally, and they're just ignoring the Mewtwo at this point then as well. So we can get this knockout, but then I'm almost positive our opponent's going to have two more Cousin Catchers in their hand if they're playing it this route. And I don't think we have anything to possibly disrupt our opponent um, in this situation. I think we just knock this out, draw two prize cards, and then hope our opponent doesn't have absolutely everything to close out the game here. Um, but I have a feeling they probably will. Um, only seven cards left in deck. I don't think there's really... We could, like thin out the Greninja with the quick ball um have access to that to in, in the discard pile I mean if they knock out anything they win the game so I can go ahead and bench the Snivy Sore um and then I think we just swing once again with the massive bloom I don't think there's anything better to do yeah just gonna well, we could do the chuck away actually hmm. wait would that even KO I don't think that would KO 50 no all right massive bloom again we get the knockout a little bit too slow this game a little bit of a shaky start um what's gonna happen uh, if we draw well i think we stay ahead of the pride trade in this matchup just by a little bit uh, but we weren't able to do that obviously in this one we we're short mostly just short on the energy to be honest we got the xerneas playoff which is what you're trying to do turn two or they gx attack you respond with bright horns sometimes you can even do it before they gx attack if they have a slow start you can get the great catcher or the snivy sword bring it up then bright horns care the adp before they even gx attack uh this time did not happen that way and uh we're gonna take an l here it looks like to our opponent's zation deck um as they're going to double custom up one of our bench pokemon um I'm almost positive as they take a custom off the stellar rush. Yeah, here we go. Double custom. I got one of our bench guys. All right, so we're going to take a loss here. It was close. Rough start. We we're on track for a little bit with the Xerneas knockout, and then from there it kind of all fell apart. Let's see if we can't pull it back together in the next one. All right, getting into another one here. Hoping to find, hoping to win. Uh, <laughs> hoping to win this one. We'll go first. Uh, let's see what we've got to work with. Mewtwo, the energy. Ooh, we could even dead change if we want. All right, we'll see what our opponent's playing. And we got the Wobbuffet. So if our opponent is playing Picaram, can really put a uh, damper on it. No idea what our opponent's playing. So uh, It's hard. I probably don't want to put Wobbuffet in play. Xerneas, I'm unsure about as well. We could just go attach pass, see what our opponent's playing. Oh, man. It kind of stinks to not know at all what our opponent's playing based off their start. Um... Could risk the Wobbuffet into play. So we can go attach. 
Edgewob. Grab the Solgaleo. Get rid of Solgaleo. Grab the Dene. Um, Xerneas we need if it's... Yeah, I guess we're going to go like this. We'll give up a Mewtwo here. Um, so we have the third one in the deck. So if we need one, another one, we'll have it. And then pass over to our opponent and we'll see what our opponent's actually playing here. Um, yeah, I went about this one a little bit awkwardly to try and protect against potentially everything without knowing actually what our opponent's playing. Um, so we'll see here what our opponent is actually playing and see if us protecting about what we did around, protect around. Okay, there's a Coco Prism. It looks like it worked out. Our opponent is playing Pika Rom. Yeah, it definitely helps a lot when we know what our opponent's playing. Um, there's a stadium map. We didn't get the um, swell, so we can't stop Thunder Mountain, unfortunately. So that kind of stinks. There's a power plant anyways, though, so um, they have other plans with stopping us. And then here comes a quick ball. Oh, no. Are they about to get... Oh, no. The Dene, and then here comes the Dene change under power plant. I can sense it already. Custom for two. Okay, that was definitely a mistake from our opponent. What? I am super confused then. Definitely should have just not got power plant. And there it is. Dede change under power plant. They zoned out, focused on power plant for the Mewtwo. And Dede change under power plant. Uh, a dub, I guess? All right, getting into another one here. Heads, definitely looking to go first. All right, we did win the coin flip. Let's go first. Let's see what we can make happen. Mewtwo start, rainbow energy. All right, this hand looks pretty good to me. Um, yeah. See how this goes. <clears throat> There's the Oranga We definitely actually want to use the Guzman Hala on the next turn. So I think we're just going to go attach the Rainbow and then pass to our opponent. Yeah, because then we can just go Guzman Hala, get rid of the ADP, get rid of the weakness card energy, get an Aurora or another Rainbow, and then um, grab a Stadium, which would be great to keep our opponent's Stadium out of play. Uh, and get the big charm, which is super important against AD position. I'm assuming that's what our opponent's playing. They got the Dragon Lightning deck box. They got the Aranguru with Primate Wisdom start. Um, here comes the Wisdom from our opponent. Yeah, so I'm assuming that's what they're playing. We'll see for sure here in just a second. Um, but that's going to be our game plan. I'm going to get the GX attack with ADP off. And then turn three, attach another energy. Xerneas knockout. Oh, there is the Marnie. I guess I should have maybe quick balled the ADP into the discard pile at the very least. Um, now I'm getting a little bit punished for not doing that. Um, our hand wasn't too ridiculously good, and our hand is even worse now. Uh, gonna need a top deck. There's a Cherish Ball. So we can go Bench to Xerneas, uh, just in case we don't win this turn. Cherish Ball. I'm gonna grab myself the Dedene. Gonna Bench the Ndidi to get that heal off. And I think we're just gonna donk our opponent here. <laughs> I don't think... Uh, yeah, we just need energy. And we get the donk here. Really weak start from our opponent. Don't have the energy yet. Um, all right, research, get rid of all of our supporters, pretty much alongside it, need an energy, and we whiffed the energy. Um, well, I don't know where to go from here. We don't have the Solgaleo even in the discard pile. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and thin out this and the Guzman Hala. I'm gonna swell. Um, <laughs> I, uh... Could chuck away okay we can chuck away i guess i think that's all we have though i'm trying to think of anything else we could do we have one energy we have a quick ball get this into the discard pile not gonna do anything i i think we just whiffed right we have no we, have, we can just chuck away let's just chuck away then um yeah chuck away get rid of those two uh <laughs> hit the orangaroo for 80. um not the worst thing everything and not the worst thing ever obviously not ideal and definitely put us in a little bit of an awkward spot giving our opponent another chance uh in this one as we yeah we whiff the energy i don't think there's anything else we could have hit to do anything i don't think there's anything else i could have got we're down three research as well we're just basically out of draw supporters for the rest of the game um so it's going to be interesting from here only a third we still have 31 cards in our deck which is super awkward um actually and there's a research from our opponent. All right, so our opponent is live. They're doing stuff. We have a switch. We're going to be able to respond to this just fine with the switch. There's their ADP. There's their spinner. Can go ahead, attach to the ADP, and then start uh, start swinging um, or start using the ADP as soon as possible. Um, yeah, we got the Guzman Hollow, though. We can get rid of the Greninja and the Flygon. Um, and then get an energy, <laughs> finally. We can GX, we'll get the big charm as well. We can GX attack with ADP using Mewtwo. And then uh, go from there. 
All right. Cosma and Hala. Get rid of these two. This, this, and a rainbow, I think, is... Oh, we could do a unit, actually, right? No, we need the we need the rainbow here because we need to be able to put it on Xerneas afterwards. All right. Switch to the Mewtwo. Big charm. Rainbow. Heal off the damage with watch over. Only have one uh one Dedene left. So I'm gonna quick ball this actually. Uh fail it. And then I'm actually gonna draw with the elusive master. Um, because we only have one Dedene left, so we want to try and make the most out of our, our draw power left. Then we're gonna go with the where is it? Altered creation. And now we're drawing an extra prize card whenever we take a knockout, and all of our Pokemon are doing 30 more damage. Um, so we're looking to knock out this with the Xerneas next turn. And then from there, we're looking to use a Snivy Sword, um, who might be prized actually. I don't know if he's in the deck to bring up Oranguru or Jirachi, and then knock that out with Chuck Away, with Mewtwo copying Chuck Away. And that's that's the game plan. That's what we're doing here, um, or trying to do here. We'll see how it actually goes. <laughs> Because uh, obviously the first couple turns of this game have been not ideal for either player um, and it could definitely continue that way um, <laughs> Into these next couple turns. We'll see. We'll see But yeah, Aurora energy get rid of the Solgaleo quick ball, whatever our topic is Ooh, uh Oh, they're playing scoop ups That's dangerous for us. They could escape. Up. Oh, they put it back down though I was gonna say they could scoop the Jirachi and the Orangaroo and then that would make it Incredibly awkward for us to actually win the game because um, getting through Zations at that point can be super difficult when we have zero energy in play. But didn't go that route. Should be all good for us to win the game um, through our current game plan. We should find that switch. How many switches do we have left? We got four switch left, uh, or three switch left. Three switch and a Malo and Lana, and two tag call to find the Malo and Lana. So I got pretty good. Um, I'm feeling pretty good about this. Uh, this the Dede change coming up to try and find that. Um, hopefully our top deck just isn't too good. I mean, if our top deck is just a switch, that'd be fine as well. Roar energy definitely is not what we wanted it to be. Um, attach this here. Discard the Solgaleo, I think. Yeah. And then, yeah, quick ball away this. Going to get our last Dedene here. It's our last burst of draw power. There we go. Dede change. Just need a switch card. There's the tag call for the Mallow and Lana. And we'll get the Mewtwo out of there as well. We have one research left. The Snivysaur is prized. Okay, it's it's gonna get interesting here. Go into the Xerneas. We're gonna move all the energy over. We'll get four prize cards to work with, which is definitely a lot to work with. Uh, Bright Horns here. Gonna get the four prize cards. They currently aren't set up to take a knockoutization, but um, I would be surprised if they don't get the knockoutization here. The Air Balloon is pretty nice here. There is the Snivysaur. Just need a switch card at this point with our current hand. No switch yet. There's a great catcher. Not going to do a whole ton for us, I don't think, yet. Um, and they can actually just dodge our Xerneas. They can win in two turns, theoretically. They can go Gust, knock out. Indeedee, Gust, knock out to Dene. And then we will just lose the game. <laughs> um, there's nothing we can do at that point. There's the Saucer. So they're almost definitely attacking this turn. Uh, I think another Saucer. And another Saucer would work or an Energy Attachment. The chance of them whiffing that is... Uh, basically the chance of us whiffing maybe our the, tur the, the energy attachment on that second turn with Dede Change plus a research. Um, there's a quick ball to get rid of Shrine, which is super unfortunate because we did pretty much lose all of our draw power with three research and the Caitlyn and Cynthia left during that uh, research play, um, which is super unfortunate. We just basically lost all of our draw power, which to be honest just kind of really stinks. Um, Bench bait, our bench got filled up as well. Maybe I'm prioritizing the Indeedee a little bit too much when I bench it, uh, especially when the big charm is in the deck. I could probably could avoid putting the Indeedee in play and probably should just have just maybe left the bench base open. Then I could have, well, I wouldn't have been able to get Snivy Storm in play, I guess, in this situation anyways, because it was prized. There's a frying pan. If they do knock out the Xerneas, though, we do have two turns to work with, which is a lot of time. That's a lot of time. Definitely can hopefully put them together in those two turns. Um, so we're hoping it is. All right, it is the Brave Blade on the Xerneas. This, like I said, this gives us time now. This gives us time to work with. Um, I think I just sent up the Mewtwo and punch it with the, uh, the Chuck away. May as well get some damage in there with Chuck away. I think, I mean, that seems best to me. Let's go for it. Draw, there's a Cherish Ball. I think there is something to get out of the deck. It is the Soul. Three switch, one research in the deck. Decent odds to get the top deck, I think. That's the Aurora Energy. Going to discard this guy. Could bench this just in case they do chase around our Mewtwo. We do have the Air Balloon combo ready to go. I don't see another line of play here. 
we could have now uh, that one well we could have actually sent up to Dene and then retreated into yeah we could have sent up actually could have sent up to Dene retreated into Snivysaur attached the air balloon which I am going to attach here right now just in case we get stamped I think I just want to burn the cherish balls because there's nothing to get with them anymore they don't really do anything and then here we go chuck away thin out the deck a little bit more just get rid of the uh Mewtwo and the weakness guard energy hit for 80 um we can hit for how much can we hit for the blastoise next turn we can hit for 150 120 just gonna be a little bit short i don't think we have any attack that works we do have outrage actually okay actually we're set up in a pretty good spot if they hit us with zation we can simply outrage if they go around us we can use the snivy sword so we're really just scared of absol here because that means we can't retreat the snivy sword so maybe i should have actually attached to the snivy sword to prepare for that situation instead of attaching to the Mewtwo. Oh, but then I can't prepare for the Outrage attack. Oh, so I guess I'm kind of stuck in that situation and I have to attach to the Mewtwo to threaten the Outrage. So yeah, now they can't hit Mewtwo, which means if they go around us, we can attach here, bring up something, knock it out. So, okay. All right, I'm feeling a, a little bit better about the situation now. I think we can pull this one out. It got really awkward. It's currently not the, it's currently still a little bit awkward, but uh, I think we can pull, put this one together here. Um, if they wily bite same situation just outrage back which they are setting up that wily bite then maybe because they don't have a switch in hand um or they're not sure if they're gonna hit one i guess so they're like just preparing the uh the maw while just in case uh that might be their last metal saucer actually so they could set up another no they had they could have set up the station if they really wanted to i think yeah we'll see but wily bite is gonna same end the same for our opponent here there's a catcher tails yeah i think we have this one locked up i think the way the situation has developed we should be all good to just kind of win here's another catcher but i don't i don't see what this could ever do for our opponent we got the the shining vine ready to go we have a three card hand so i don't think they're gonna reset stamp us or anything like that or marnie us they're out of marnie's actually usually the deck's only playing two marnie's here they go to the jirachi all right i'm starting to feel good about this i was very uncertain to start off and i was like i, I don't know this doesn't seem great we're seeming a bad spot we whiffed the donk but uh, the more the game has progressed, uh, our opponent doesn't have a ton of options. And I think we've got them pretty much trapped. Yeah, Outrage is an insane attack in this matchup. Because they can't one-shot the Mewtwo when we got the Swell in play. When we got the Big Charm on our Mewtwo. Yeah, there's the Wily Bite knockout, but it's not going to be enough. We're going to Shiny Vine up the Jirachi and then use the Chuck Away on the Big Rat to take the knockout. Our final two prize cards. And we did it. We've done it. We made the comeback. Um... I mean, I don't even know if it was a comeback. We both drew super awkward in the beginning. Very awkward game. We end up with the dub, though. I guess, I guess is what I mean to say. Bring up the... Oh, no. No, we can chuck away Jiraji. I was like, oh, it has resistance. We're going to do minus 20. But we have the plus 30 damage from the uh, ADP. So discard two cards here. Chuck away. Knock out the Jirachi. And that's going to do it for this video with Henry Band's crazy Mewtwo box deck. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give the video a like. If you're enjoying the content, be sure to subscribe. Have a good day. Thanks for watching, and peace.